Hey, William. What? What are we about to do? Uh, my new computer. What are we going to do with it? Build it and use it. We're going to build it. And use it. We're going to build it. And use it. Awesome. So what do we got in the box? Let's look at the box. So we have my new TV. Your new TV and then the new computer. Uh-huh. All right. I didn't know it came with a new computer. Yeah. So hold on. Hold on. Let's talk about what we're going to do. Let's talk. Let's talk about what we're going to do before you start ripping everything out. So I've been looking at the Kano computers. The little bitty do-it-yourself designed for six-year-olds and up to put their own computer together. And I realized it was just a Raspberry Pi. It costs about $150 to 100 bucks, depending on if you get it on sale. And it, it's a really cool, it's a really cool program, but it's just basically a Raspberry Pi and then the components to plug it up. It doesn't come with a TV, but it comes with the keyboard and speakers and such. Uh, but the biggest thing in there is the operating system. I found that they actually will give you the operating system for free. So um, I just bought a Raspberry Pi starter kit on Amazon. It was like 60 bucks. Keyboard and whatnot you can get for 20 bucks. We bought a little mini one, but in trying to play Minecraft with it, it didn't jive up with Minecraft. So I'm going to use this on our new TV anyway. And then bought a little 7 inch computer. Uh, TV monitor, right? TV monitor. For like 30 bucks. So with everything together, it was about $120, which is still cheaper than what uh, we'd get. Nice instruction book. Yes, we might need that. What else do we have? We have a micro USB to, you know, put the operating system on a computer. What else do we have, William? We got a cord. A cord to go to HDMI, so we could use this on our TV, but I bought him a little one. Good. A quick start guide. What's this? The case, which is important. What's this? This. Power supply. And plastic. Oh. Hold on. Here's the actual and Raspberry Pi card. Last thing, last thing, last thing. Here's the last thing. And two heat sinks. Two little heat sinks. Alright, so, first off, William. What? Before we mess with computers, have you washed your booger hooks off? Have you washed your hands? Oh. We're going to go wash our hands. Okay, William, are you going to do it? Yeah. First, let's get the yellow box that has the case. Let's take the case out. Even though it's hard to open, I can open it. I can tear it open. Let's not tear it open. Oh, there we go. Do you need help? Oh, there we go. Okay, let's throw it up. Oh, oh, that's the power supply. Okay. Can we open this one? No, this is the case. Open the case. I told you the wrong color, didn't I? I've never done this before. Purple. All right, it's got a case. Okay. Can we take the top off? Okay, so nice little case. You put the card in there, got Last nice one. little air holes. Now let's be real careful with this one. Okay. We need to put this back on. Or, or. Let's see what comes in there. It can, hold on, slow up. Little credit card size Raspberry Pi. And then this. It comes with a micro SD card with the operating system installed noobs. But we're not going to use this one. We're going to use a different one that has the uh, Kano operating system on it and then some instructions. We don't need no stinking instructions. So, let us open the bag. We've got these two heat sinks here mm -hmm. and they have uh, some tape on them. We're going to put the big one here. We're going to put the little one here. And it doesn't matter if you don't have a fan blowing, then the orientation of the fins doesn't matter. But say if I have an air blowing this way, then I want to make the fins to where the air flows between the fins. All right, so we're gonna do that. And since I don't have a tripod, I broke it. We're gonna do this and come back. So we slid it in the base, and then we take that and lay it down, and then it should snap together. Uh, I'm looking at it. I'm looking at you. I'm looking at you. 
Look at your face. You're looking at my face. Boop. Snap together. We take your card. Okay. Now your card's in. Card. And we plug up the power cord. Plug up the power. Power cord's plugged in. Mouse is plugged in. Can you plug the keyboard in? Keyboard? What's keyboard? Plug this in. Okay. I'm gonna plug it right here. Now turn it. Don't force it. Yeah. I did turn it. Look at the. Look at it. See how that's got a square and then an opening, and that has a square and an opening. You want to match the openings and the squares up. So it goes in. That way. Okay. No. Now, why don't you take it out and you do it? Why don't you take it out and you do it? Pull it out. There you go. Now put it back in. Good job. Okay. Now your computer's built. See? We have to hook it up to the it's, TV. It's, it's not really thing. See? Mhm. Mm take your take your cables off so we can plug that to the TV. Mm hmm No, 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 no. The, the wire ties. Unscrew the wire ties. I don't know how to do that. We'll figure it out. You got it. So we've got this. I took this was this. like 30 bucks. It wasn't really. It's, it's designed to go on the back of your headrest so the kid can watch TV. But it's DC powered, so maybe I can let her put a battery to it. There's the mount. And you got the audiovisual cables. Here's the power cord. Ooh, look, a remote and a sticky pad, right? We all need all that. So, putting this on is pretty easy. You just loosen this up, it slides on, you tighten it up. Plug in the power cord. HDMI or your VGA, whatever, for your computer, right? This happens to be. Um, HDMI, take the HDMI cable, we plug them in, then all we need is electricity, we're ready to go. Do you want to put it on the big TV when we start it up to see what it looks like on the big TV? Oh yeah. So, here you go, here's William's computer put together, but we're going to turn it on, on the big TV, so we can see what it looks like on the big one, alright? So, we're going to take this over there.